I read the notes of Chaim Vital, the Ari's loyal student. Only at age 36 does the Ari arrive in Svart. After learning Kabbalah for years, we all begin to understand how little we know. We listen to the young man intensely. We drink his words. Behind every look that excites you, behind the rain that caught you in the forest, behind that old strange man who supposedly just happens to sit next to you with the Kabbalah book, behind all that is God. It is He, God, wearing costumes of our world, calling us. The shows reach their end. The audiences don't want to say goodbye. Just one more day and we're returning to Israel. On the way home, I discovered the last day of the Ari. On the 5th of Av, 1572, the pure soul of the Ari returned to heaven. I imagined the Ari's mikveh and myself among his students. We purified his body in the mikveh. His pale body floated on the water. I whispered, Rabbi, I understand what you told me. It seemed as if the Ari bent his head and sank into the water. I arrived in Israel, I'm home. Again I was by the rabbi. In my heart was a sense of true happiness. The rabbi for me is like a dad, a brother, a friend, my teacher. A teacher who take me where I dream to go. You can't speak about the group without the rabbi. You can't speak about the rabbi without the group. They're one. The group is family, and the group is friends, and the group is love, and the group is hate, anger, all that. I don't know what could take me out of the group now. I dreamed that we'll soon find a place where we can all live in cooperation so that we can develop more and more forever and become a world center for Kabbalah development. On January 16th, a bus hit the car Rabbi Lightman was driving in. A phone ring woke me up. The rabbi had been fatally wounded. I couldn't grasp it. That was it. 
everything stopped. I felt an unbearable pain. All my life, all I'd lived for, everything I felt, my hopes, everything, it all collapsed. Everything became meaningless. I cursed God. I'm saying what I felt without hiding a thing. I forgot what the rabbi taught me, that God radiates only good. This? This is good? I yelled. God is taking the rabbi away from me. For seven days, the rabbi lay in intensive care. For days, the group didn't leave the hospital walls. The members weren't allowed in the room. They stood by the door and prayed. They were sent out to the hall. They prayed there. first time in my life I truly understood what power our group had. For the first time I understood the true meaning of prayer. It's not a text that you recite morning, noon and night. It's that one true wish in your heart. Our hearts had only one wish. We begged that our rabbi would be returned to us. And the rabbi lived against all odds. He stayed alive because the group wouldn't let him go. Today, I believe and I'm sure that the experience was given to us on purpose so that we deeply understand how important the rabbi is to us, so that we'd understand how powerful we are united, and that we will, with no doubt, go the whole way together. We'll go out into the spiritual world and meet God.